And we know, you know, a lot of people were outside last night watching the lightning from the thunderstorm. May not be the greatest idea, though. Yeah, there are so many dangers that come with these strong thunderstorms. Creme 2's Ian Smay shares the safest way for you to watch these impressive storms and what you should not do. That's right. These storms can be very dangerous if you don't take some precautions. Thunderstorms injure about 300 people a year and kill over 100, according to Texas Tech University. We heard a lot of people were on their porches yesterday watching the lightning, but experts say this isn't safe. Here's what you should do in a storm. If you can hear thunder, you are close enough to the storm to be hurt or killed by lightning. According to the Red Cross, you should stay inside and close the windows, and stay inside for at least 30 minutes after the last thunderclap. If you do get stuck outside, crouch low to the ground, but don't touch it with anything other than the soles of your shoes. The surface of the ground can carry a stray charge from a nearby strike. Now for some don'ts. The National Weather Service says don't stand near trees or any tall or metal objects. Don't approach down power lines or damaged buildings. You could put yourself at risk of shock or falling objects. When you're inside, don't use baths or showers and stay away from any indoor walls made of metal or concrete floors, because that can also carry electricity. If you're driving, try to park safely. If lightning strikes your car or nearby, it could electrify the car's body, so avoid touching any metal and unplug electronics from the car. A lightning strike can even cause airbags to deploy if a car's electronics give out, so if you are parked, move your seat back. While it may be fun to watch these storms, please make sure to stay safe, and if you can, stay inside. Ian Smay, Creme 2 News.